keto bourbon Ooh. bourbon bourbon hi guys hang on one second i'm trying to type the title i could have done that before i started but i didn't okay hang on one second i'm gonna put y'all up and then we're gonna get started doing so well today um while people start showing up this is like crooked i'm trying to make sure y'all can see this but y'all seem very far away so let me see if i can just scoot y'all just a tad bit closer okay i think that's a little bit better what do y'all think i think that's better i can read y'all now y'all can see kind of what i'm doing all that good stuff um i'm actually not having like this is a spaghetti squash. Um, I made it earlier so I can make a recipe tomorrow, but I didn't take it out of the, what do you call it? I guess the skin. So I'm actually gonna do that really quick right now. Have y'all tried spaghetti squash before? Like it's one of my favorites. I made, um, I bought a couple of them cause they stay good on your counter forever, forever. As long as you don't put them next to like other food that's going bad, they just stay good. Um, so. I'm going to actually make some buffalo chicken dip this week you know, with some blue cheese and stuff. I'm really excited about it. And I love buffalo chicken dip on top of spaghetti squash. So spaghetti squash is kind of like, um, it's, it's like a sweet, it's a squash. So it's kind of sweet. Actually, while we're chatting, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, my thing, my jig. Okay. Um, they're like a sweet uh, vegetable, so they're really good with like the spiciness of buffalo chicken dip. Um, so, and I got, my favorite is Frank's Red Hot, and I thought we were out forever, so I had been like planning and planning because I needed to go buy some, and then Paul's like, we have like the industrial size one in the cabinet, and I had no idea. So, all right. If y'all have not seen, I don't, did I just post? I don't know if I posted this yet. I made this today, but I'll post how to make um, spaghetti squash. I'll have to post how I make it. It's really, really easy. It's literally you just stick in the oven and it does it by itself if you don't have to do anything extra. Okay, so a couple things we're gonna do. Sorry about that. Okay, so first to start off, we are gonna make bourbon chicken tonight. And this is um, Maria Emmerich's recipe. It is the best one of the best recipes I think that's out there, like period. It's one of my favorites. Um, it is really, really easy to make. It's so to show us your dog. The dog is upstairs in the bedroom with Paul because his nails are very long and they clicky clack all over the place and it's very loud. Um, the cat you didn't ask about. <laughs> got you coffee, I got you. Okay, so let's start. First, we are going to take off my glasses because every time I get on here, I'm wearing my glasses and then I instantly start sweating. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Water. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna lie, I have printed off this recipe to make sure that we do it and say it right. So she says, first, we're gonna heat up some oil. Check, we got oil in the skillet. Oh, let's, let's scoot y'all over. Well, scoot the, this guy over. Mm-mm, that didn't, that didn't help either. Mm-mm, that didn't help. <laughs> Swivel. All right, there's the corner of that. We got a little bit of oil going in here. Keep reading the directions because I forget and don't do things properly the first time. All right, so we're gonna heat the oil and then we're going to pat dry the chicken and season it with salt and then we're gonna place the chicken into the hot oil. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's do it. I didn't really need this bowl. Okay, so I do have uh, boneless skinless thighs that I got from Walmart today. Using breasts works, but it's not going to be as good. It's just not as good. There's something about the fat content of the bread, the thighs that just makes it better. It's just better. So go ahead, do yourself, pick up some thighs. 
if you're on a budget so these this was seven dollars but if you want to get you can get just as many <laughs> thighs with the bone in and the skin on for like half the price right now at least in texas um and i should have picked them up to show y'all how to to um debone and skin a chicken thigh but i didn't because i didn't think about it because katie didn't let me know hi katie hey adam i know I got some people that told me they're gonna watch and cook along and or have a drink which i thought was a lot of fun so um so if you don't know how to do the chicken thighs on my highlights on my page i added like a slide that shows you how to cut um chicken thighs so keep the bones they're great for bone broth all right hot smoking hot smoking let's get this going all right so we are going to cut up the chicken thighs and Everywhere's gross. Everything has chicken juice on it now. That's okay. Just keep going. Just moving. All right. So we're going to go ahead and slice these up. And I am going to put the... There was a piece of chicken. Look, this piece of chicken was stuck to my finger. And now it's on the ground. Didn't... If you expected a chef when you showed up, you were mistaken. Because I am a mess. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take the chicken thighs and I'm just gonna cut them into slices. Um, nothing fancy. I just want them to be kind of bite size, just like you would have from takeout food, really. Even the chicken, like the fatty parts, we're gonna go ahead and throw most of those in there. This one's a little bit bigger, so I don't really need that. Because they'll just, they'll render down, it'll be fine. It's so good. Now, if you wanted to do like a step extra, you could like bread the chicken thighs like in whey protein and make them have like the actual um, like breading part that some Chinese food places have. I guess it's bourbon chicken, Chinese food. It's really not though, because bourbon chicken was actually created on Bourbon Street. Maria Emmerich's cookbooks have like little, little, this is what how this was actually created blurbs. They really, really make me feel like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so normally I eat this, normally I make the exact same recipes together. So this is my, I normally make this with the egg roll in a bowl. And let me, let me tell you right now, uh, Kendra Holly's egg roll in a bowl is the best egg roll in a bowl. Fight me. It, it is. Her recipe is just one of the most excellent egg roll in a bowl recipes. I know there's a whole bunch out there and I've tried a couple of them and none of them compare to Kendra's. Um, so egg roll in a bowl next to some bourbon chicken, one of my favorite meals. We are making bourbon chicken right now. I don't have gloves on. Okay, so um, I'm not wearing gloves because gloves can be used for going to the grocery store and doing other outside activities right now. So I'm choosing to wash my hands more and um, touch the meat. It's not my favorite, but we only have so many gloves left and they're out on Amazon if you've tried to buy gloves. So I'm just doing all I can, trying to save some stuff. Um, you love my emails? That means so much to me. I'm trying not to bombard y'all. Um, I'd like to email y'all about once a week. And do you know, okay, so if I email you, if you're on my email list, you can go to um, ketosamiam.com and sign up. If you just hit reply, that's me. I'll get it. And I reply. I've gotten a couple of people that are like talking to me through like email and I really love it. It makes me feel like I get to connect with y'all on more like, more like we're not on social media. So it makes it just different for me. Like I just love, cause I love helping. So if you email me and you can like explain things better, I don't miss emails. Um, I might miss a DM or something because they get like really caught up in there, but I don't miss it. I don't miss an email. I don't. I'm so serious about it. Um, so if you need something, that's a great way to get a touch with me. Um, I don't know what's, what it is about Kendra's recipe. She just has the best one. I just, if you've been around in the community for a while, you've probably tried some extras. They're just not as good as hers. Hers are just fantastic. Yeah, I've been working on, um, oh, I got so many things in the works, guys. I'm really, really excited. Um, this is, this uh live is not sponsored by anybody this is just me cooking so i get to kind of talk about whatever i want which is so good i love i love getting to work with companies i'm so lucky i get to work with some cool companies but it's also fun to be able to be on here and like now i can promote myself and talk about things i'm doing i mean i can do that probably whenever i talk about them but you know 
All right, I'm still just cutting off like the big chunks of fat. I just don't feel like we need those, but I'm not gonna get all the little pieces of fat off. And I absolutely could have done this before live. Um, but I didn't, so. Any tips or tricks? Okay, so the main thing is just eat under 20 grams of carbs. That's it, that's the main tick, tick, trick of the book. Just make sure you get your electrolytes in. When you first start, you're gonna be dehydrated and you're gonna feel down a little bit and um, some electrolytes can really, really help that. Don't give up, give it 30, 60, 90 days before you decide it's not a diet for you because your body takes a while to get used to, you know, a new eating style and things like that. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna shortchange yourself um, because you didn't get enough time. And if you have, so I'm gonna, um, I've been for the last couple weeks on Mondays, I'm getting on live and I am just answering keto questions. Hang on one second, let me do that. Yeah, trust the process, really, guys. Um, the biggest thing I I, I, I don't want to say I hate because I don't I don't hate things, but I just give it a chance because if you're not giving it a chance, you're kind of shortchanging yourself. Like nothing happens overnight. Like we didn't gain weight overnight. We're definitely not going to lose it overnight. Um, just that's one of those things. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have some hot oil in our skillet over here. Just going to move the entire table. There we go. All right, hot oil in a hot skillet. We're gonna add the chicken. This skillet was way too small for this. This is way too small. Let's, let's, let's get All right, this skillet is almost as big as my whole body, so we're gonna use this one instead. How we want to do this? We are going to pick up this skillet, put it on the oven, take this skillet, and put it on here. Okay, the chicken's cooking over here on this skillet. I'm gonna heat this one up, and then we'll put it in here. Um, thanks for watching last night. Um, I'm putting all of my Instagram TVs up like the next day if I can. So y'all can catch all of them and they're up forever. Um, they used to only be up for 24 hours, but now you can go watch them at any time. Uh, I've been doing Weight Watchers, but feel I need to change. Welcome. Um, we have a lot, there's a lot of crossover watch, Weight Watcher stuff um, because some of the stuff that like uh, is low points for y'all is also low carb. So there's a lot of things that you're probably gonna be able to bring over and just kind of add it to your arsenal of um, like tools that you can use to eat healthier. Um, how do you feel about low carb tortillas and chompies bread? Hmm. Okay. So low carb tortillas make me feel bad. I'm pretty sure it's the fiber that they use. Now cut the carb does not make me feel bad. And I consider cut the carb like a low carb tortilla bread item, but it uses the same thing that like Deidre's low carb uses, which is like vital wheat gluten and things like that. It's kind of just however you feel about it. Um, if you're just more of a low carb person and like you're not trying to be in like the deepest ketosis that you could be in, it's probably not that big of a deal. It's just one of those like personal kind of choice things. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dump the chicken into this other hot skillet. Now, I personally prefer if I'm going to eat something that has some ingredients that are questionable, I just feel it's a lot better. All right. Um, if I can make the item, I'd rather do that. So, like, I make Deidre's low carb bread, and I feel like since I know what, everything that's in it, it's not as bad as like chompies or something, which I don't know what is in it. So, just kind of. That's how I play that game. Um, seasoning. I'm not sure what that question is. 
How long have I done keto? I've been on keto for four and a half years now. Um, hi, Adam. I actually said hi to you. You were like one of the first persons I said hi. Um, and then I said hi to Katie, which is in here too. Um, so look where tortillas can stall you. So if you feel like you're like kind of being stalled and you don't know why, um, I would cut out the low carb tortillas because they're not doing you any favors, I promise. Um, they're keto approved, but they're not, they are spiking your blood sugar, I almost guarantee it because they have things in it that are like real flour and things that will, your body considers to be glucose. <laughs> this is never perfectly planned. And you know what's funny is I, I start planning this stuff. Y'all see, I post, I talk about it, I invite y'all to come do it, and then I still do not do it properly. Um, that's kind of life though. Like, I, I really, really like the fact that I get to come on here and share with y'all, and like, I don't want to make it too done. Like, I won't lie, I did do the dishes. I do want this to look clean behind me, but um, I don't try to, I try to just go with the flow. I don't really have a plan, obviously. Um, I like to just share kind of whatever we're talking about and just help y'all out. Um, I just don't, I mean, I mean, I'm just kind of like everybody else. And it really shows through when I do this. So that's why if you see typos, errors, somebody emailed me today um, that I mistyped on one of my recipes on my website. I love it. I love it. Like, please let me know if you see something because at least on, on Instagram, it's not that big of a deal because I'm just trying to like post and I'm doing something on the fly. Um, but other stuff, if you see something, let it girl know because I can't, I can't, I don't know how to do it all by myself. I just don't. I can't. It's not that it's hard, it's just there's a lot of moving parts, and if there's something y'all want to see, I want to know, because this is to help y'all. Like, I, I'm only here to help y'all. I am at my maintenance, I don't need to lose any more weight necessarily, I'm a little thick around the edges, that's alright, like, I'm here literally just to help other people get to where I'm at. Um, kind of my thing and I want y'all all to be here with me there's like enough tape there's enough room up here at the finish line for everybody and I'm not even at the finish line let's be honest I'm working on shit all of the time because I got stuff all over the place um oh my god I forgot my chicken on the floor oh let's pick that up <laughs> thank you for reminding me because it's all <laughs> thank you all right we picked up the chicken <laughs> Chicken is picked up. Um, how much have you lost? So I've lost 75 pounds. I started keto in 2016. Um, there wasn't really a community then or anything. I'm still just cooking down this chicken. Oh, it just burned me. Gosh. Um, I started keto in 2016. I lost 75 pounds. It took me about two and a half years. I had stalls. I ate off plan every single month. Oh, that really hurt. Um, I ate off plan all the time. I went back on keto every Monday. I ate all the tortillas. I loved Russell Stowers. I had diet sodas all the time. I did all of that for years and I still got to my goal. Like it, I know that y'all come into this community and y'all see people fasting and they're doing carnivore and they're doing egg fast and they're doing all, mmm, I get it. And everybody's just trying to shake it up, but at least for me, I didn't have to do any of those things. I stalled for maybe six months at a time and I still didn't do any of those things. Um, I wanted I wanted to do weight loss in a like more natural way. I felt like if I did it slowly and surely, it would stay off longer or it'd be harder to put back on. I would learn and have a better food relationship because I have friends. And if she's watching, I, I love you. And I'm going to talk about you for a second. And I don't think you're watching. But I've had friends that have lost weight and then gained it all back. And it's not because they didn't try. It's not because they weren't determined. None of that. It's because they did not have the proper food relationship. And I still don't. I'm, I'm, I'm talking from a, a place that I still am learning. Um, but... 
if going slow means you're working on your food relationship and your weight at the same time, I feel like that's like the key. Like the, 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 you know, so my doctor told me when I told him I was keto, he kind of laughed at me a little bit. Cause like, I was like, I was like, no, I've been keto for four years. I was like, and I've kept all my weight off. That's it. Cause like, he tried to kind of like scoff at me. Like I was just like another keto, whatever. I just started like, no, I was like, no, I've lost weight and I've kept it off the entire time. Like I was really snotty about it. Cause I was like, no, I did really well. And he said, you are so rare because keto works a hundred percent. He said, but people are not determined or motivated enough to see it through the whole cycle the whole getting over the carbs and moving into ketosis and learning how to eat and um the little things that kind of go along with learning how to be keto um because keto teaches you how to not rely it used to teach you how to not rely on products as much it taught you how to cook for yourself and like research and find things that do work for you and uh it's been lost a little bit now it's ketones and a thousand products and like every single supplement you could ever think of and just stuff like that it's just it kind of gets watered down in the fluff a little bit because when you take out all of the packaging around it it's literally just eating 20 grams of carbs a day and everything else kind of works its way out like people are like oh i would you know i don't eat vegetables because they have carbs and i'm like that's okay that, that's cool but like also i want to eat vegetables the rest of my life so i'm gonna make them work with the way I want to eat and I think that's okay too um okay so we're cooking down our chicken let me go back a little bit and see if y'all said anything um I'm just sticking my hair right in my chicken that's not a big deal um I don't work out thank you I have a lot of skin when I'm that far back there y'all can't see it as much but it's there um I appreciate you Do you have any blogs or top keto foods that helped you? Everything I've made on Instagram, I really don't do a lot of blogging until now. I just started. Um, so I don't follow a lot of blogs. The people off the top of my head I can think of are Oh My Keto, Fat Kitchen Blog, No Bun Please. And you can just type these in and they'll come up. Um, Nom Nom, G-N-O-M, G-N-O-M. She's amazing. Paola. Um... I'm forgetting a hundred of them and I love them all, but I can't think of them all on top of my head. I'm going to take this chicken out. It's not all the way cooked, but it will simmer down with um, the sauces. So I'm going to go ahead and take the chicken out and then we're going to make the sauce that goes with the bourbon chicken. Let's see. Do you do net carbs? I do. Um, I do net carbs because it will allow me to have a lot of um, more vegetables, really. Um, I don't, I've never done total carbs. I'm sure it's a great way to like cut or um, I'm sure it's a great way to like break a stall or something like that. I just have never been interested because I do like to have other things. And I also like keto, you know, treats and things like that. If you do net carbs, it's a lot harder to fit in any like stevias or anything like that. Or I don't know if it's stevia or not, actually. I can't tell you if it is. Um, but you can't fit in as many like fake sugars. And I do like fake sugar. I, I like artificial sweeteners. Okay. So... Skillet, this is just the leftover liquid from the chicken that we just made. So we're gonna go ahead and add the broth, sweetener, tomato sauce. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use the Kettle and Fire broth. Um, I really like their broth. I don't have any made right now and it's all frozen. So we're gonna use a cup of their broth. And I'm making twice this recipe because every time I've made it, um, me and Paul want more, so I'm making twice as much of the liquid. Do you use something like strips to check if you're in ketosis? So let me, um, hang on one second, let me measure this out and then we're going to talk about something. So a lot of people I've seen in my DMs have been using the urine strips. So let's talk about the ways you can test your ketos, your ketos, your ketos, your ketones. Um, so Third. Sorry, I'm trying to do this. Okay, so we've got a cup of broth. We have a third of sweetener. And I'm using pure and I'm using an actual third because I'm making twice the recipe. So this is just one serving of the pure. 
um, a cup, half a cup of tomato sauce, which is actually one can, one eight ounce can. Okay, so if you just start keto, you can use the urine strips. And what they're going to do is they're going to start turning colors when you start making ketones. That does not mean you are in ketosis. It means you're now making ketones. You might have um, some glucose still in your system that you're still going to have to burn off before you burn your ke those ketones. So you're making ketones. Awesome. But you're also getting rid of the ketones, right? So you're getting rid of them right now. You're not using them for energy. You're not there yet. Hang on one second. Let me... Okay, so what, so what those strips do for the first week or so is they tell you, yes, you are still making ketones. Awesome. They're great. For about a week, they work. But you're, you're getting into ketosis. You're, you're getting into it, right? You're doing really well. Like, I just know you're doing so fantastic. And those strips stop showing you color. And you're like, damn, I thought I was doing so good. I'm exercising. I'm getting my water in. I'm eating under 20 grams of carbs. I'm following my macros. Why are the strips not working anymore? And the reason the strips aren't working, aren't working anymore is because your body has now flipped that switch and you're now using those ketones to energize your body. You are, you are ketone burning. That's what you're doing. And if you're keto burning, that means you're in ketosis. But it also means you're not going to excrete, excrete, is that the word? You're also not going to urinate out ketones anymore because now your body's going to make ketones for you to use, not to get rid of. Like, because you don't, you're, you're going to need that energy to function because you're not going to have glucose energy anymore. Um, hang on one second. All right. Two thirds coconut aminos. Let's do it. Guys, sorry. Let me get through this so we can uh, have dinner tonight. I'm sure Paul's starving. <laughs> um, coconut aminos. I'm not using coconut aminos. I am using the Dalla soy sauce. Because coconut aminos are way more expensive and I am on a budget. I'm a budget person. I am on a budget. All right, we got coconut aminos. We got two tablespoons of coconut vinegar. I'm gonna use rice vinegar. Um, she uses coconut vinegar because she does not do any kind of grain and rice is a grain. I like, I use this for other like Asian dishes. So I'm just gonna use the rice vinegar. Um, yep, two tablespoons of that. Sorry, we're gonna keep going. Um, okay. Oh my God, yes, this makes me so happy. Manual can opener, got one. Uh, best explanation I've heard on ketone strips. Yeah, so like, they're great when you start. So let's say you're now a month in and you've been kicking butt, just been doing fantastic, but you're like, man, I really wanna check and make sure I'm in ketosis. You wanna double check your ingredients or you wanna double check those low carb tortillas you've been eating or something like that. So what you can do then is crushed red pepper flakes. I'm still cooking while we're doing this. Also, this recipe is on Maria Emmerich's actual website. It is literally called Maria Emmerich's bourbon chicken. I printed it. So, it looks like. so if you don't have this recipe, you're trying to write it down. It's on there. Um, one and a half teaspoons. One. Ooh, it's going to be spicy, spicy. A little laugh on there. Um, okay, so you've already been a month in, you're doing fantastic, and you're like, I want to make sure I'm still in ketosis, making sure you know what you're doing. So what you can do then is you can use a blood meter, and um, I, I have a link to a Keto Mojo, and it does your glucose and your ketones, because your ketones aren't as important as your glucose. It's just not your glu the glucose number is way more important than your ketones because like I'm in keto I, I am keto 100% of the time and might not have as many ketones because I just don't need them as often. Um, but you you might have a lot more ketones because you're actually actively burning fat and maybe I don't have any fat to burn right now or I'm just not in the fat burning mode. Um, okay, so the Keto Mojo is fantastic. I have a coupon. You get the Keto Mojo that has ketone strips, glucose strips, the lancet, some needles, a little pack that it comes in and everything. Um, ginger and then garlic. Um, but that's 50 bucks and that, that is a budget thing that it, I didn't, I couldn't afford a lot of this stuff when I started keto and I didn't have a keto, a keto meter for quite a while. Do not buy that keto coach. Don't buy it. I usually don't talk out about companies, but they do not test glucose and instead of 
what they're going to do is eventually they'll just let people like buy another meter that does both. But why would you buy one meter that only does one thing when you can buy a meter that does two things? I don't, I don't understand. Um, so if you're on a budget and you really don't want to, we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Um, why would you chit chat? Um, you can go to Walmart and get like an actual just glucose meter. Like you can just get a regular glucose meter. And what you do is you test your blood, um, every morning, an hour after you wake up, but before you eat, um, I would say an hour after because the dawn effect, some people, their blood sugar is higher in the morning. I'm one of those people. So in the morning, my blood, my blood sugar is higher. Um, some people that doesn't happen. So an hour in the morning, every you know day for a week. You're going to test your blood, your glucose. You can test your ketones if you want, but this is for if you're going to Walmart and buying a ketone meter. Um, write it down, and that's like your average blood sugar. So that's that's like your baseline. Like you haven't eaten yet, you've been asleep, and uh, I can only assume by the more you like do things, the lower your blood sugar would go. Um, so you know what your baseline is. So you ate a tortilla, and you want to test your tortilla to see if it's raising your blood sugar or if it's something that you should continually have in your diet. So what you would do is you would test before, eat your meal, and if you're gonna eat this meal, make sure like it's just the tortilla, because if you eat the tortilla with all of the good stuff for a taco on it, is it the tortilla, is it the tomatoes, is it the avocado, is, what is it that made your blood sugar go up? So just the tortilla. Um, and then I like to test again at one hour afterwards and then two hours afterwards, because I feel like one hour is like, between one and two is like going to be the peak. And that's kind of, I just, I really prefer it twice. Um, and then that tells you if your blood glucose, if your glucose went up, that means it's kicking you out of ketosis. And that just means, oh, your blood sugar went up 15 points. Your body's going to need to burn glucose again to get that back down before you start burning your ketones again, uh, which is essentially kicking you out of ketosis, right? Because if you're not burning ketones, that means you're not in ketosis. So, um, again, the strips work for about a week, then you can get a blood ketone meter. I just cannot stress this enough. You do not have to buy anything. Like you don't have to test yourself. You don't have to, you know, if you ate that tortilla, let's say you don't eat tortillas all the time, but you know, the next day after you eat a tortilla, you have crazy cravings all day. It's probably that tortilla guys. Like you can do your own research and kind of test on your own body and, and things like that. And it, it, Knowing what affects you is great because what affects me one way might not affect you the same way at all. I cannot eat chalk zero. It spikes my blood sugar every single time. I, I just, I can't have chalk zero, but I got tons of friends that eat chalk zero and it's not an issue. I also didn't solve this. Um, and it's not an issue. So it's just, you gotta see what works for your own body. Okay. So we're going to put the chicken back in the sauce and then we're going to let this simmer. Um, over here on the side, and then I'm gonna make boyfriend, boyfriend broccoli, um, cause that's what the side's gonna be today instead of um, uh, egg roll and bowl. Okay, so I want you to notice, see how this saw is very saucy and watery? As it cooks down, it's gonna get thicker. Like it just gets thicker on its own. It's so fantastic. It's gonna coat all the chicken. So don't worry. We'll check in with it in a minute and see um, see how much it's like coating. We are going to make boyfriend broccoli, and I'm just going to use, this is literally the same cookie sheet that I made the spaghetti squash on, and it literally has salt, pepper, and olive oil on it. I mean, I did that earlier, too. It's avocado oil. I don't know why I keep saying olive oil. I don't need to use olive oil for anything. Okay, so we're going to scoot this guy aside. Okay, so boyfriend broccoli is usually made with fresh broccoli. I do not have fresh broccoli, so we're going to make it with frozen broccoli. So all I've done... Is a microwaved the Kirkland brand bag of broccoli. That's it. Super, super easy. I've never actually had their broccoli, but it looks very green. I, guess. I think it's going to be a good one. I have the oven. The oven's on 350. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this out. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are going to salt. We're gonna spray a little bit of oil, pepper, and garlic salt. Peppa, where's my peppa? Got it. All right. Okay. Um. Uh... 
Okay, y'all bad? Y'all good? I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't like that I can't see how, like, y'all fought that, how far away y'all are. At least, you know, yesterday whenever we did this, I got to be, like, up close and personal so I can kind of see what y'all are saying. Um, okay, so salt, pepper, and then I'm going to oil these a little bit, and then we are going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes. Yeah, this is actually, um, it was created on Bourbon Street by, was it? Yeah, it was on, created on Bourbon Street by a chef. Okay. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes or so. And again, I never made that with um, frozen broccoli, but the broccoli at the store didn't look, <laughs> it didn't look like anything I wanted. So I did not get the broccoli at the store. Okay, my bourbon chicken is over here. God, it smells so good, it smells so good. Okay, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. What's the name of my oil sprayer? Oh, it's the Misto. I love this guy. Okay, so I used to buy all those like avocado mist things and they're like 12 bucks for two or something like that. Like crazy expensive. So this is the Misto. I think this was, I think they're on sale for 10 bucks right now on Amazon. I have the link in my, um, the links in my links. <laughs> I have the links on my Amazon thing. Pretty much everything y'all see me use, if you're interested in it, I probably have a link to it. Um, all of my links stay in my bio link. I have links everywhere. If you need something, let me know and I can send you a link. Um, I do get credit for them. So if you buy something from my Amazon page, I get like 1% or something. And it doesn't cost you anything, but I do get a little percent of it, which is kind of cool because I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. <laughs> so it works out. Okay, so this is the Misto. And the way it works is you fill it half up. You know what, we'll fill it up right now. Did you hear that? Okay, so you fill it half up. Oh, I have none in it. Fill it half up so it has space to kind of like not charge it up to have air in it. Okay, so avocado oil. You stick this guy. And then you just pump it. I will be if it browns. I don't think it's going to brown, but I don't really brown my, um, I don't really roast it either because I don't really like roast broccoli all that much. It gets too roasty and then tastes burnt to me and I just don't like it very much. But you know what? I love roasted Brussels sprouts. I think burnt broth, like almost burnt cabbage. Like I'm talking about two more seconds in the oven and it's burnt. Favorite cabbage every time. I love it so much. I don't know why. Um, hey, thanks for following me. I appreciate it. Um, it's so funny when y'all say I'm real because I'm just a lady on the other side of the Instagram. I'm very basic. <laughs> I live at home. I have a fiance. Um, we have a cat and a dog. Bruce is his dog and Dee's my cat. We're that couple. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. I worked at a dealership that sold 18 wheelers um, for six years until April. April was actually my six year anniversary and I quit. Um, so now this is what I do and I love it. I get to hang out with y'all. I get to work with some of my favorite companies. It's just, you know, this is that dream that like when people would be like, oh, your Instagram's doing great. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, are you going to do that for a living? I'm like, girl, you know, I can't do that for a living. That would be amazing. What a dream job. But you know, I got a job and I like my job and I love being an accountant and you know, all that stuff. Now I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. Like. <laughs> Which is scary. So, uh, you made this for dinner. It's amazing. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite recipes. I'm here for the subtitles. I burnt Brussels. Burnt Brussels. What is it about burnt cabbage that I like? I know Brussels sprouts are like a form of cabbage. I love it all. It's so good. Um, what does your fiance do for? He's also an accountant. <laughs> um, uh, so that's what he does. Hangs out with me most of the day. No, not really. It's weird because we both do work from home and we have like separate offices and stuff. So we like get up and go to work in the morning. And I, he goes to his office and I go to my office and like we do separate things. And then um, we kind of get together for lunch. If I'm cooking, if I'm not cooking, then he just kind of fins for himself and stuff like that. It's been a lot of fun. Like um, nothing like being stuck at home with one or being stuck with one person for four months right before you want to get married. Because that will tell you if you need to get married or not. <laughs> um, 
Oh, is it at Walmart too? That's awesome. Walmart has some great stuff. Did y'all see my butter dish? I went to Walmart today. I've been shopping a little bit more at Walmart. I don't normally shop at Walmart, uh, but lately it's been, I found a Walmart I really like. So look at this super cute butter dish. Isn't this so cute? The lid's on top. I prefer, I want the lid on top because if not, this this way always stays off for me. I hate that. And then the other thing I got was these little jars to put little things in, um, like little like little ingredients that I don't need a whole jar for. <laughs> so I got these little jars today too. Got all sorts of stuff. I love. Oh, just get some things. Um, this is my fiance keto. So Paul is not keto, and. I mean, he is, but he isn't. He's not keto. He's low carb, if you want to call him anything. He did keto for a while, and he lost weight, but he did not feel good. Like, it did not agree with him. So, I just don't think that the keto diet necessarily works for everybody. And uh, I think he's one of the exceptions that it's not a beneficial diet for him. Fresh or frozen? Fresh. Brussels sprouts. Always fresh. Um... I'm so glad that you can navigate. I'm going to try to keep the website as clean as I can. And if you're somebody that enjoys the website, what I can say is to be able to keep it without having a bajillion ads and things like that, clicking my links, buying from my links, using my coupon codes, commenting, sharing, liking anything on Instagram or Pinterest or anything. Facebook, I got a Facebook group too. It's a private Facebook group. Um, it has about 3,000 awesome people in it. I am so bad at Facebook. Please forgive me if you get into it or you've been in it. I'm trying. Um, doing anything on my social media, commenting, liking, sharing, that costs you no dollars, helps me be able to make income to get to do this. Um, I'm not, this is, this is not paid by anybody. This is all of my own income that I spend on literally everything for Instagram. Um, other than if I tell you, hey, I got this from Pure Bolt House, um, Kettle and, and Fire is one that they sent me some stuff. I always try to tell y'all, I'm trying to always be open and honest about what I get paid for and what I don't get paid for. If you have followed me for um, any length of time, I'm very open and honest about everything. I don't tell you I like something if I don't I don't lie to get a sale or if you use my coupon or anything like that I'm not here to try to take your income I'm here to help you be happy and healthy um me getting to make money and you know support myself is kind of a bonus and it's something I want to get more seriously into but I also don't want it to be at the expense of people that genuinely need some help because I genuinely couldn't afford help whenever I started keto and if we didn't have our community I would not be here because I didn't have any income like I was on a very strict budget for being somebody that lived by themselves in Dallas so it's just one of those I really really want to help um, thanks Sam no problem don't feel bad about the low-carb tortillas you don't know and like not only do you not know it, it you know what? If that low carb tortilla means you're not going to eat a real cor like tortilla, eat that low carb tortilla. Like, I, if 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 it's the difference between you saying no to diet soda forever and then you drink a regular soda because you've been saying no for so long, like drink the diet soda. It's not gonna. You're not gonna undo your progress. You're not going to unlearn all of the things that you already know. You know keto works, or you already know you feel better, or you already saw some weight drop off. So you already know it's gonna happen. So even if you kind of backtrack a little bit, you know you can do it again. You have the tools, right? Um... Yeah, that's not even a big deal. I have low carb tortillas in my fridge right now. Um, and I really do love let the, Cut the Carb. They're probably my favorite. Um, I actually was friends with the owner when she started. Her name's Miriam. She's very sweet and kind. Um, they're a very great company. I really, really like them and support them. Um, it's so cool because I have been, I, I have had the, I'm so lucky that I've been in the community that I, I don't know everybody. Everybody don't know me. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but I know, I know quite a few and like the people that I've been around, I've seen the companies come up, I've seen the pages. It's, it's really neat to see everybody. Um, you're welcome. It's so nice to see you. Did you see, can, can you pull up your, so I'm talking to, uh, Go Blue Barbecue. 
Um, so can you pull up your whole entire barbecue rig next to my one grill? Just, just my little... <laughs> I feel like such a grill master. I walk into my house, I'm like, guess what? I'm a grill master. I made all these things with the grill. I only burnt three out of five, but I love my new grill. I really, really like it. Um, okay. I have already made the recipe. It's right here next to me. I can show it to you. Um, we made the Maria Emmerich's bourbon chicken tonight. And yeah. So here's what the chicken looks like. See how it's already getting to be more of a sauce? I'm just gonna keep keep cooking it down until it gets nice and saucy. Um, this recipe is on her blog, and it's actually you can just probably Google Maria Emmerich E. Oh gosh. How about the spell it? I know how to spell it. E M M. E R I C H bourbon chicken keto bourbon chicken is what you can also that's what I googled whenever I look for it again and then we're just gonna put it we're making roasted broccoli and normally I do roasted bro broccoli with fresh broccoli but we did not have any um, so we are not having that today I can't I cannot <laughs> somebody just said um he said oh of course let's cook here's the thing guys and I know this is so and if you live in Dallas I'm so excited about it but in normal circumstances i probably would not have quit my job she also had a cabinet open i cannot shut a cabinet to save my life i just noticed it um so i probably wouldn't have quit my job well that's not true i really didn't want to quit my job anyways if the things that were going not going on right now weren't going on and some of them need to be going on because we need change and black lives matter and things have to change please go register to vote my birthday is on election day this year and if you want to do anything for my birthday please go register to vote um if it wasn't the times it is right now we would be having meetups we would be doing the barbecues we would be having literally everything we can't yet so next year we're doing all of it we are going to have meetups we're going to have barbecues we're going to have picnics we're gonna do I want to do like painting with a twist I want the keto community like locally to hang out um so I think that'd be a lot of fun okay so the xanthan gum I don't always add it because I don't feel like it needs it but it can you can add it if you feel like it um but I just don't feel like it always needs it I mean you can add it I probably could add it and make this I guess let's add it. All right, you forced me. Let's do it. Not forced. You didn't force me. It's not a big deal. Let's add it. Because it does make it more saucy. And then I can show y'all what xanthan gum kind of does. Now, if you use xanthan gum, please, 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 please carefully use it. Because too much of it is way too much of it. So, um, my birthday is November 3rd. Um, jalapeno poppers. Ah, jalapeno poppers are so easy. Um pretty sure I have a post on it. We are using a fourth of xanthan gum and what I'm doing is I'm sprinkling it if y'all see you don't want to put it in one big blob because it will just stay in one big blob and be a weird chunk of blob. It'll be very gross. Um what did, what caused you um tummy issues? What was it? Xanthan gum? Xanthan gum shouldn't cause you any issues. Um uh, some stuff can though so be careful for sure. Okay, so look how good this looks, guys. Look at that. Yeah. It's so saucy. This is just going to be fantastic. I'm so excited for dinner tonight. We have not had bourbon chicken in so long. And honestly, I probably made way too much sauce for how much chicken I had. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Please take the chicken out and air fry him. Why would I air fry him? This is... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is about done. We're gonna take it out and I'm gonna show it to y'all so y'all can see how pretty it is. I think this had chicken in it. Everything had chicken in it, didn't it? Everything had chicken. All right, so bourbon chicken is done. This is Maria Emmerich's bourbon chicken recipe. So let's go ahead and pour it. <laughs> Killing is so large, I can't pick it up with one hand. So we're gonna do two. It's just so heavy. Okay. There we go. And if the sauce isn't very thick, 
as it cools it will thicken because it has xanthan gum in it and as xanthan gum um like cools it will kind of congeal all right so there we are this is maria emmerich's bourbon chicken i guess we can have a little bite of it and try and make sure it tastes okay i always get to try everything on paul does and i like it any sides with the chicken yes we made broccoli Ugh. Just hit myself with the steam, that's what I get. Um, we made broccoli in the oven. It just looks like roasted broccoli. There's nothing special about it. But here's our bourbon chicken that we made. It is like a it is a I'll show you I'll show it to y'all. Man, that's so good. Woo, it's spicy! Woo, Paul's gonna be like, dang. Um, so this is just a little portable cooktop. I got it off Amazon. It was like, it's like 50 bucks, I think. So this is what it looks like. And it only works with induction, which I don't like. But I just bought an induction pot, actually. Because we, next week, next week, we're going to make keto onion rings and keto cheese sticks here on live. I bought this pot so we can fry stuff on live right here. I have like a mini oil cooker, but I figure not everybody has mini oil cookers and I want y'all to be able to make this recipe too. Uh, so next week, onion rings and mozzarella sticks. I'm very excited, very excited. I was so excited to get that pot. Um, let's see, serving size for the chicken. I love your kitchen map. Thank you. Um, serving size for the chicken, I, I don't really measure stuff like that. So what you would do is, it says four, it says four servings. So all the information's on the little recipe card. I actually really like Maria's, her, like her little recipe card. He didn't take up a whole bunch of like, I printed some of the recipe earlier. That thing was six pages long. Like why is this six pages long? I needed one sheet recipe. Um, six pages, that's crazy. Um, okay, so next week we will be doing the keto onion rings. We are gonna use avocado oil. I know it is expensive and it's not something that everybody's gonna to wanna to use. Um, you can use whatever oil you're comfortable with. I am gonna use avocado oil. We have, um, we buy this super huge like jug of it for just for frying, I don't use it to cook, um, but I use a super huge jug that we got off Amazon. I think it was like $30 for this super big jug. Um, and that's what I use to fry. I just really prefer to use an oil that I like. And I know I like avocado oil. Um, I hate long recipes. Yeah, her this recipe is really not that bad. Um, it's one of my preferred recipes. I really enjoyed this one. So next week, let's recap really fast. Next week, Monday, keto question and answers. I will be just hanging out in my office. We will talk about all the keto things. I will be on from 6.30 to 7.30. So don't feel like you have to rush. I'm going to be there at 7.15. Not a single person is watching me. I will still be there. Um, so 6.30 to 7.30 on Mondays, I will be doing keto question and answers. Um, I really want to be available literally for y'all to be like, hey, Sam, I had this question. And I can just be like, here it is. Here's the answer. Um, or I can tell you where to go find the answer or whatever. Um, and then Tuesday, we will make keto onion rings. I will post tomorrow the ingredients if you want to make them with me. You will need whey protein. I use IsoPure, um, the flavorful, flavorful, ha, the flavorless one. This is from Amazon. This is what I use. This is what I'm going to use to bread the um to bread everything anything that any part of the frying that calls for flour we're gonna use ice up here for um and you can get that on amazon i have it on my list if you'd like to get it um i think that's it i hope you'll have just a fantastic night i will be around if you have questions comments concerns dms go check me out on my website send me an email like i love it sam at keto sam will come straight to my phone and i will see it um i hope you'll have such a great night and i will see y'all probably tomorrow. I think I'm done tonight. All right, bye.